This is me, the Grand Duchess Rasmus Good, and got my new nail polish today. Today is April um, 15, tax day, at um, 8 p.m. Said I would unburden and tell the truth all I knew about the Fort Bliss, Texas Army Nurse Corps, etc., etc., and so forth. I think it's only fair after I what I went through. Integrity should mean a lot, and um, moral and ethical and professional standards should mean something. And I never found it there. Not bitter, not em, not not em, um, not no animosity. It's just a, the blatant disregard for certain certain ethical standards and professional humane standards I never saw and I never saw practice and I saw the repercussions of it eat al race sex whatever whatever um today I want to as I said this is going back to um Fort Bliss Texas we are on the ward today's story is about that little baby that died in the in the peed section they had off nine west the story was a lieutenant, black female, short, stocky, I don't want to call her name, but it starts with a T-H and an O. That's all I will go. It has an M in there too, and so forth, and another A. Uh, anyway, there was a little baby in that PEDS unit, and for some reason, this black female lieutenant never took care of children before studying and taking over shift and whatever they changed somewhere during the night but apparently they said she fell asleep she said she checked the baby and the baby was okay she didn't know what to check for because she has never worked with a baby before a new nurse never trained in peds our pediatric care and here she is having probably four or five small children in a room isolated from everybody else. Ah, uh, story is the baby died. But the funny thing, they said she discovered the baby one hour after the baby died. It wasn't breathing. The lights were off. Some people said she fell asleep and so forth. But the real story from the coroner's office, and I saw this report in Susan Hopkinson's office, unbeknownst. I went in there to see her and I saw it and I sat there and read it. Very unethical, but I did it. The autopsy report said, Lieutenant, the time she took the baby, the baby could not have died. The, day the baby was actually dead four hours before that second lieutenant black female took it over. But that white nurse did not get any repercussions from the incident. She was consequently, she went on a trading course, I remember, to um, San Antonio, Texas. Then she went to work outside and then she came back. Then she left. It was the most disgraceful thing I have ever seen. As, as I said, I'm not racist. I'm just saying the facts as they are. I um, I confronted Lieutenant Thomas and I said, you know what, because I overheard the story, I overheard in the break room, I was in the little changing room and I overheard these nurses planning for this little girl, how they would coordinate the story to defend themselves against the death of this baby. Not on one occasion, on two occasions, right? So I couldn't say it inside the hospital, but I said to her, um, hey, girl, you need to watch out. I've got your back. I've got your back. But she never, she never did. She never did. She never did. She never did. She never protected herself. She was more of a target. And she kissed ass. She never got promoted for two years. Or something like that. Uh, don't, don't ask me. But she took the blame for a lot of things. I had to understand my position. Call it grace. Call it faith. Call it God. Because I believed. I prayed for those bastards at Fort Bliss. And I've seen some of them suffer. 
that was my revenge, that, or that was God's revenge for them. I prayed for them. But I tried. But then they lied again and said this baby died on her watch. This one is for you, Lieutenant Thomas. Oh, excuse me. Um, but guess what? You believed in Jesus and all the principles. I'm not a Christian. I wanted to put this to your conscience and the rest of you conscience at the Army Nurse School and Walter Reed. And I'm not, I would never make up a story about you. You are the one hope, you know, uh, at one point, but I left you with the rest of them, and I'm glad I did. This is me, the Grand Duchess Rasmus Coden. Whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability. Truth. Truth and a commitment to change if you must change, and a commitment to resolution if resolution must come. Never leave something unfinished, untarnished, and say, come back and get the rest of it done. That's so not inspiring. Have a good evening.